Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to look at how to farm berries within the Sword and Shield titles. So one of the issues that we've had since Sword and Shield dropped is the inconsistencies we've had for farming berries. We can't get them because they only appear in specific trees, and those trees take 24 hours to reproduce any berries, so actually getting them and obtaining a large number feels very difficult so within this guide I'm going to show you a method with how you can farm them very quickly and very conveniently so what we want to do first thing is first is head to the bridge field area you want to speak to this NPC outside of the nursery and purchase one wishing piece after we've purchased this wishing piece we want to head away from the nursery and just take this route here because we are looking for three specific trees that are all next to each other which makes for a perfect place for us to start farming the berries you ride up to the tree and you press a and you give it a shake and the berries will drop now the number of berries and what specific berries that fall from each tree is dependent you can get anywhere from four to up to 15 berries at one time now I will take you through a method to maximize shaking these trees because sometimes there's a sly Pokemon that can appear and ruin your day and steal a lot of your berries as you say the one thing that you don't want to do is be shaking these berries once every day and a Pokemon come down like this and then end up stealing all your berries so I've got a way and a method to get around this and we'll get to that in a moment so the first thing what we want to do once you've cycled through all of these trees and there's no berries left you want to go to a max raid den that's the next thing what we want to do so this raid den right across from this trees here which is perfect it's very convenient makes this method very quickly so what we're going to do is just collect the watts that are there drop a wishing piece into this den and just activate it now it doesn't matter what pokemon is in this den for this method so what we're going to do is just click into it we want to invite others we're not online you want to come back to your home screen, go down to your system settings, go down to system, down to date and time, make sure you've got the synchronized clock by the internet off and then go down to date and time, toggle your date forward, come back into the game and then quit out and that should fool the game into thinking a day has passed, meaning that the berry trees in the distance will now have berries on them. So you can see, as we're going back into the den, there is another Pokemon there, so it has worked. We collected 2,000 watts in the process, so we're also watt farming, which is great. We can come back over to these trees and start shaking them. So one of the methods that I was talking about is avoiding the Pokemon that come down and grab the berries if you shake too many times. So as you can see right now, the tree is shaking about a second intermittently between shakes so you want to keep an eye on these shakes because as soon as it gets very fast this is when you've got one shake left so you can see it's starting to shake very vigorously now so after this point you've got one more shake and then you have to quit out if you shake the tree again after that final shake then a Pokemon will appear and it will come down and steal the berries so this is what you want to do you want to make sure that you are avoiding that additional shake of the tree you want to be keeping an eye out for how vigorously the branches are rustling as you can see now we're going to do the second one and it's about like i say a second in between each each shake of the branches you want to be you're fine you're fine and then as soon as it does change to that really vigorous shake where it's about two shakes every second that's when you know so you can see here right now we've got this final shake and this is the point where we want to quit because otherwise we're going to lose a lot of berries and it's not going to be as optimal as possible so we want to quit out we've done that final shake and then we'll move on to the next tree so you can see here we get a nice haul around seven berries which isn't too bad and we'll go to the final tree and i'll just show you one more time so we shake the tree initially and you can see it's just shaking intermittently here so about once every second and we're going to keep on shaking it two berries drop there we're going to shake it again to get a pasho and a kelpsy berry we want to shake it again so there's four berries on the ground that's fine keeping an eye on the shakes as well and it is getting a little bit more vigorous now so you can see we've got one more turn to shake it so we'll shake it one more time and this is the point you don't want to shake it past this point because if you do a pokemon will appear and you will lose some of these berries so this is the method to make sure that you are keeping to when you are farming these berries and you see there out of the three trees we get quite a nice haul and then the next step is to just head back to the raid den you want to click into it invite others once again come back to the home screen go back down to your system settings down to system down to date and time and move that date forward one more day go back into the game 
and then you quit out of the raid den. Yep, you want to just quit out of here and that will cycle through one day in the game and we'll be able to go back to the berry trees once more. Make sure that you are using that method and keeping an eye on the branches because that is one of the most annoying things in the game when you are cycling these berries is a Pokemon coming down and then taking half of your haul away and then it really sets you back within this process. So as you can see, get a nice haul here, 11 from that first one. We go back on to the second one. We're keeping an eye on the shakes once again and all in all, we are able to farm a lot of berries this method. So you can go through it and in about half an hour, you can get yourself a really nice amount of berries and depending on if you want certain berries, uh, for EV reducing then I have a guide on that I'll link that in the top right hand corner You can apply the same method for farming EV berries as well But I feel like if you're just wanting general berries and the resistant berries and other berries like the citrus Then this is a really good method for doing that and as you can see we're gonna hop over to our berry pocket here in our bag and you can see how many berries I've got and I haven't really been doing this for very long so if you spend a little bit of time doing this you're going to be able to obtain a lot of the berries now I will just note that the EV reducing berries haven't been obtained here they have been obtained from a tree that is in this area but as I say I will link it in the top right hand corner it is in my ultimate EV guide that I did so you can go across there and see where that tree is actually based in this area so this will wrap up the guide my friends I hope you've enjoyed it found it useful please leave a like on the video if you have do subscribe to the channel and leave your comments down below let me know if you found this guide useful and I will see you all for the next one so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye